Welcome back, students. So here we are, we're doing question 10 of the 2021 paper. So first, let's try and get, a, get in some, some understanding of the question by reading. Jack must varnish a large, solid, wooden rectangular door, as shown in the diagram below. Show that the area of the door is 2.88. Now, the first thing I'm thinking is, is he varnishing the front and the back? But we'll see, and that'll be the part of the looking back process. So let's just get the calculation straight into the calculator. The area for a rectangle is length by breadth, so we'll go 1.2. It doesn't matter which number you put in first. Multiplied by 2.4, and we're getting 2.88. So they're obviously not varnishing the inside of the door. And so what they do say show, so I better not just write down. So I have to write everything there down with an equals in it. So just write 1.2 multiplied by 2.4 equals 2.88 meters squared. And that's it done. Don't even worry about it after that. So we're continuing to read. The varnish is to be applied to both sides of the door. Each side needs two coats of varnish. So that's two times two is four. So we got point times two and now times two again, which is four. One can of varnish will cover 4.5 meters squared. So what's interesting about this question is it's where discrete maths or natural numbers, whole numbers meet continuous numbers for the can of varnish and it's common sense really in terms of uh, how maths work so let's let's get to it so we're taking that previous answer 2.88 and multiplying it by 4 to find out what the area is so I'll just do multiplied by 4 and it'll an multiply my answer by 4 getting me 11.52 sorry about the pen it seems to be somewhat damaged but we'll, we'll, we'll work through it So how many cans are needed? So let's just treat it as a continuous and we'll see what, wh how we interpret our answer. So we're going to take that number there, actually, I'm going to just do it separately, 11.52 divided by 4.5 into the calculator. And I can just go here, divide by 4.5. We get 2.56 cans. But of course, I need to buy three cans. Okay, so how many cans of varnish does Jack needs to buy? And you, you don't have to explain your thinking here. You're not writing a book. So three cans is the answer. You can put a box on it. You don't have to, but you can just write down three cans anywhere, and that's the answer. Each can of varnish costs fourteen fifty. How much? Find how much Jack pays for the varnish. That's the easy bit there. We're just going to multiply it. Well, we're not. We're going to clear that and take three multiplied by 14.5. Okay, I didn't put in the zero because I didn't have to, and the answer is 43 euro 50. You don't have to worry about showing your work there, just get the answer in as 43 euro 50. Jack must also attach a draft excluder around the edge of the door, find in meters the perimeter of the door. So the perimeter is going to be, you, know, you can add those two numbers and then double. It's a quick way of doing it. So I'm going to go 1.2 plus 2.4. I can add them in my head. It's 3.6. And that's the half perimeter, and I'll double that again to get 7.2. Okay, meters. Done. Ready to move on. Okay. And that's the end of it. I'm surprised. Yeah, they just they didn't ask to add some money on, and that's the end of that. So, guys, as usual, I will. Is there another bit? Yeah, but it's a t it's a different question. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do part B in a different different question. Okay. So as usual, we will see you in the next one. <laughs>